Can Liz Cambage save her career? Well, there is a possibility after she signs a $1 million contract to play in China. But to know whether she can do it, let's dig deeper into the matter. A bit of a journeyman four in the lead. But has found her way with Phoenix as an opportunity and Liz Cambage. Liz Cambage, Australia's basketball sensation, is planning a comeback, sparking speculation about her career resurrection. Cambage, who left the WNBA in July 2022 due to salary conflicts with the Los Angeles Sparks, has decided to start a new chapter in China. The tough player, known for her outspoken stance on pay discrepancies, has signed an appealing three-month, $1 million contract with the Sichuan team. As she embarks on this international ship, questions arise. Can Liz Cambage save her career? Well, before we go into the depths of this question, first let's have a look at the controversies around her that kept her out of action for this long. Liz Cambage, a well-known figure in women's basketball, has found herself embroiled in controversy, particularly over racial remarks made against the Nigerian national team during the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. The incident occurred during a practice game when Cambage, who was fighting for rebounding position, allegedly used racial slurs against her opponents. A video emerged documenting the heated moment when Cambage's elbow landed on an opponent's neck, resulting in the altercation. Apparently, in the heat of the moment, she referred to the Nigerian squad as monkeys and told them to go back to their third world country. These disparaging words set off an upsurge of criticism and condemnation. In reaction to the charges, Cambage disputed them and offered her thoughts on Instagram, although the post was later deleted. She stressed the absence of professional referees during the scrimmage and blamed the situation on a lack of sufficient oversight. While she recognized the inappropriateness of her behavior, she attempted to provide a broader perspective of the incident. Cambage's recent choice to represent Nigeria's national squad in the 2017 Paris Olympics complicates the situation even further. Despite the sad history of the racial dispute, Cambage indicated her readiness to play for the club, raising eyebrows and prompting concerns about the motivations behind her decision. Contrary to Cambage's account, Promise Amukamara, a Nigerian team spokesperson, turned to Twitter to refute the Australian player's version of events. Amukamura said that Cambage's words were incorrect, claiming that she used racial insults against the Nigerian team. Despite different versions, Amukamura's tweets shed light on the schism between the two squads, with players from both sides confirming the same events, except for Cambage. The dispute not only highlights the racial undertones that marred the 2021 match, but it also raises doubts about Cambage's intention to join the Nigerian team given the unresolved difficulties and contradicting narratives. The 31-year-old athlete, who abandoned Australia's Tokyo Olympics campaign due to mental health difficulties, was accused of assaulting a Nigerian player with her elbow during an exhibition match in Las Vegas. This incident not only caused her to withdraw from the Olympic team, but also harmed her connection with Australia's national basketball team, the Opals. Coach Sandy Brondello has made it apparent that Cambage is not in her plans for the 2017 Paris Olympics. Undeterred, Cambage is preparing to represent Nigeria, confirming ongoing conversations and completing paperwork to officially depart the Australian team. Cambage was born in London to an Australian mother and a Nigerian father, she is most certainly eligible to play for Nigeria. However, Nigeria must apply through FIBA, the sports regulatory body, for Cambage's selection. Regardless of the complexity of her history, Cambage's decision to join Nigeria demonstrates her resolve to redefine her international career. Her retirement from the Opals created a hole at the Tokyo Olympics as the team struggled and ultimately fell short of expectations. In addition to the controversy surrounding Liz Cambage's resignation from the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, she's expressed unhappiness with her WNBA salary, which contrasts sharply with her earnings in China. In an interview with Taylor Brooks, Cambage stated her concerns openly, saying, I never played in Europe because I was too far away from my family in Australia. That's why I played in China. I miss it. In the WNBA, they don't play enough. If I'm not in China, it's because it's not open. Since 1920, they were not allowed to hire foreigners. If they open, I will go there. The money aspect became an important consideration in Cambage's professional decisions. She told me, I did the math. I got paid the same in my last season in China as I did all the seasons I played in the WNBA combined, about $900,000 before taxes. This shocking revelation highlights the economic constraints faced by WNBA players and their decisions to pursue more lucrative opportunities abroad. 
Furthermore, Cambage's unusual withdrawal from the Tokyo Olympics sparked debate. Despite being chosen to represent Australia, she withdrew only two weeks before the event, citing mental health problems. Cambage revealed that she had conveyed her reluctance to compete at the Olympics to coach Sandy Brundello, citing the difficulties posed by the strict bubble rules. She stated, I never wanted to go to the Tokyo Olympics. I can show you the messages with Sandy Brondello. I told her I didn't want to be part of the Olympics. That was the opposite of what the Olympics should be because of the bubbles. Cambage described the uneasiness she felt inside the Olympic bubble, saying, Every time I walked into a room, I had to know where the exit was. She also mentioned the absence of her psychologist, a major support figure who had been excluded from the squad, putting her without her required mental health support at a critical time. The uproar surrounding Cambage's Tokyo 2020 saga goes beyond mere competitiveness, going into the complex combination of mental health, athlete well-being, and the problems that players experience when negotiating the structures of international sports. Liz Cambage has sparked outrage by signing a whopping $1 million deal with the Sichuan women's basketball team in Chengdu, China for a three-month tenure, much above the financial parameters of women's basketball. The staggering number contrasts sharply with the WNBA Supermax contracts, which are set at $234,936 per season. This remarkable move drew notice, and the shockwave continued when Cambage wiped off her Instagram account, leaving only a few images, one of which showed her on a basketball court. However, the other 11 posts showed a different side of Cambage, with her in various situations and wearing minimal clothing. A recent upload of hers posing on all fours across tables with model Rhea Martingi ignited social media conversations. The caption, Bad Lil Kitties Doing Bad Lil Things, added fuel to the already contentious narrative surrounding Cambage, whose career has taken a turn in recent years, attracting attention not only for her basketball skills, but also for her activities on a subscription-based adult entertainment website. In reaction to the heated debate over her contract, Cambage turned to Instagram stories, ostensibly confirming the rumored worth of her pact with Sichuan. She wrote, One milli, then I'll perform, alongside a photo of a news item outlining her hefty $1 million contract. Cambage expressed her delight about the news by highlighting her favorable experiences in China and the league's strength and success. She recognized the presence of some of the world's greatest players in the league and expressed a desire to join her colleagues and the support crew. Cambage's transfer to Sichuan not only presents financial concerns, but also adds another layer to her varied career, sparking debate about the junction of sports and personal choices in the global arena of professional athletes. Liz Cambage begins a new chapter in her roller coaster career. With a successful experience in China dating back to 2012, the 32-year-old center returns to familiar territory, where a triumphant performance might redefine her legacy and potentially lead to new opportunities in international basketball. Cambage enters an uncharted area, raising concerns about the potential influence on her legacy. Will her move be recognized as a wise career decision that reinvigorated her basketball career, or will it add to the controversies that have defined her public image? The decision to join Sichuan is more than simply a cash windfall. It is a strategic one that could reshape the course of her basketball career, and only time will reveal the outcome of Cambage's million-dollar gamble and quest for redemption. As the basketball world follows her every move in Sichuan and anticipates her position with a Nigerian national team, the following chapters of Liz Cambage's career promise intrigue, uncertainty, and the possibility of a miraculous comeback or another twist in an already dramatic story. Thank you for joining us as we discuss does Liz Cambage can save her career or not? As time goes on, we'll present you with regular updates and insights into the NBA universe. If this video resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe for more compelling content. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest posts. Until next time, this is Dot Hoops bidding you farewell.